Lois window. We're going to still be camped out here in Second Chronicles again today. Actually, we're still in the story of Asa. Right. But this one verse is just such a standout. I feel like it's just really worth uh, looking at and, and thinking about today. Um, in verse 9 of uh, chapter 18, I believe, it says, The eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. Now, this is when the... Um, the uh, prophet is still talking to King mm-hmm. Asa. But I find, I mean, this is this is an overarching truth. It isn't just directed at Asa. It's telling us something about God. Yeah. It says, the eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen, so he's offering something, mm-hmm. in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. Yeah, this is one of the greatest verses mm-hmm. in the Bible. And if you're looking for a life verse, um, this is sure one that qualifies. Uh, one of the translations, in fact, several of the older translations say the eyes of the Lord go back and forth. Mm. It's like mm. they're running, running constantly throughout the earth, God looking for somebody. Notice that God isn't looking for somebody who's particularly strong, right. somebody who's particularly talented. He's looking for somebody who's fully trusting. Uh, this person may even feel like a weak person because they're so holding tight to the Lord. And that's something everyone can, uh, can qualify for. Right, but you see that when you look in the Bible. I mean, when you, when you read that verse instantly, you start thinking about the people that God found. Uh, Noah, Esther, mm-hmm. you know, Mary, uh, you know, some of the disciples. Ordinary people, people that have flaws and difficulties, and yet they were fully trusting in the Lord. And the Lord is looking to demonstrate His power in the lives of people who are fully trusting. You know, it won't be long before we have what in Wichita we call the fall parade of homes. Mm-hmm. You know, and you see these builders who build houses in a, in a neighborhood. And, um, you know, I always, uh, always get a kick. You know, there's a house and they may say, oh, this house is sells for $250,000. And you walk through the model and you think, wow, that's an awful lot of house for $250,000. Mm-hmm. And then when you look at the price, it's $400,000. There's just a lot of extra. Because the builders put a lot, put a lot mm-hmm. into that, mm-hmm. into that house. He wants to show you what he can do. Mm-hmm. Well, I really think that's what the Lord is saying. The Lord is like, I'm, he's looking, his eyes are going back and forth to find somebody where the Lord can make a model home out of this person mm-hmm. to show what he can do in the lives of those who are fully trusting. Mm. Well, you know, anybody can be fully committed. You don't right. have to have particular talents. Mm. You don't have to have a history. You don't have, I mean, anybody can qualify, even if it's just beginning today. That's right. You can be fully committed to the Lord. And that would be interesting to stop and think about. He's, he's actually looking for you if you're fully committed. Well, it's okay to say, here I am. Yeah, we can raise our hand. Me, over here. I'm fully committed. Um, Pick me. And, and he's promised us not just to recognize us, but to strengthen us. Yeah. So I love, I love that. Yeah, he, he's not, he didn't say he's looking for us to make us a star. Right. He's looking to show what he can do right. in our lives. And to my mind, that is the most fulfilling exciting exhilarating thing in this life is to watch god work through you in spite of you there's nothing greater you know i love a particular song it's from uh, we used to listen to it when we it's were teenagers yeah. yeah and uh <laughs> you know it, it's the song that henry and hazel slaughter mm-hmm. did to be used of god mm-hmm. to sing to preach to pray to be used of god to show someone the way i long so much to feel the touch of God's consuming fire, to be used of God is my desire. Mm-hmm. And I love that lyric, you know, mm-hmm. I fell in love with it when I was not even 20 yet. And now, let's just say I'm a little older than 20, I still <laughs> think about that all the time. <laughs> to be used of God, there's mm-hmm. nothing more important. Mm. And and it's just it's just the most wonderful thing. It is. It's the most wonderful thing. Um, so I hope that encourages you today because every single one of us, those us here at the table and those of you watching or listening today, Anyone can, beginning today even, just be fully committed to the Lord. And He's looking for those, yeah. looking for us, looking for you, to give you strength and to work through you if you'll just be fully committed. That's right. And He's still doing that. He will do that until Jesus comes That's for right. us. That's right. Well, Mary Alice, why don't you pray for us today uh, that, that we will be those people who are fully committed to the Lord, fully trusting in His power. Absolutely. Let's pray. Oh, Father, what an honor it is that you would even care to use us. But thank you, Father, that you've uh, told us that you're looking for those who are fully committed. And we want to we get in that line. We want our hearts to be fully committed to you. We want to see you work through us in spite of our weaknesses, in spite of our limitations. And as you do, Father, we want to give you the glory and the yes. honor and the praise. And what a, a privilege, what a joy. 
as we see you work in and through us. And we just thank you for that honor and thank you for that opportunity. And for each and every person who's watching or listening today, I just pray that you would encourage their hearts to be fully committed to you and help them to consider uh, how wonderful it is uh, to be uh, used of you. And we're going to give you all the praise and the glory and the honor. And Father, for all those that are watching or listening today that are facing some really challenging um, situations, I just pray that you would step into their situation, guide and provide and comfort and heal and all, all that's needed, Father. I just pray that you would be very present in each and every situation. Please wrap your arms of love around us and draw us close to you because we need to know your presence. And we're so thankful that you are a good God and that your love never fails and we can count on you every single day. And we just love you, Lord, and give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thanks for joining Mary Alice and me on Noah's Window, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Absolutely. See you soon. God bless. Music